I'm Christina Rivera for Press Pass LA. We're here at The Voice, part one of the finale. We're going to be talking to some of the finalists, some of the judges maybe, see what's going on and what they think for tomorrow. What's up guys? So he, Carson already said that you looked like you were possessed when you were performing your song. Was it an outer body experience? How has it been? It actually was kind of that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you call it, but I, I just, there are those moments sometimes when you're singing where you just kind of lose yourself and, and it was all a blur and then all of a sudden it was done but I, I just it just felt real you know and that's 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 the best experience you can have as an artist yeah and Usher what do you think up until now do you think today was his standout night or what was his standout performance his standout performance was the one where he almost went home and him standing out to me is the reason why I hit my button to steal and it was the beginning of an amazing journey for him as an artist. I'm looking forward to what happens next. You know, they are really the determining factor of rather you win or lose, but I say you deserve it. You have done everything that has been expected of you and then some. You've made the commitment, you've been dedicated. I think that you deserve, you're deserving of that honor to be the voice of the voice. You're ready for your life to change. Absolutely, yeah. I'm definitely ready. Cool. He's been getting acclimated throughout this process. <laughs> yeah. right? What's up, Christina? Hi. So you've shocked us every week, Miley, Drake, now Elvis. Why was that your dream song to perform tonight? Um, that song is, um, it's very big. You know, it's it's a, it's just full of long notes, lots of emotion. You really have to feel that song, and I've always like, hi, Drake. I love you. Um, I family affair. It is. It <laughs> truly is. So okay. there, I, I was in his mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Um, that song is just. It m means a lot to me. It was always like finale song to me, and even since before the blind auditions. I thought to myself, hey, you know, if I ever make the finale, that's the song I'm going to sing. Like, definitely, there's no other song over that. And the fact that I am in the top three and was able, I had the privilege to sing that song. Um, uh, I mean, I can't even explain how I feel. It was just a really great night. And it, it, oh, the, all along, everybody's been saying you have this amazing relationship with Adam, and you're obviously really lucky. You've had amazing chemistry. What has that been like for you every week and now, you know, heading into the last show? Do you um, miss him? Um, I love him so much. Um, it's not the end of it, you know? I feel like I'm going to see him more and hopefully, hopefully work with him, but I'm not trying to, you know, kick in the door. But I, you know what? He's like always going to be my mentor now a little bit, you know? It's like I don't lose him after the show. That's how I feel. Life friends. Life friends. <laughs> um, so you've kind of been considered an underdog in this competition, but you've knocked out some powerhouse vocals. Now you're in the top three. Are you shocked or are you like owning this position and you're ready to win and you're ready for a new life? I'm definitely shocked. I mean, I don't think anything could ever change that for me. This has been a hell of an experience and gotten to see and meet so many great people and do so many great things. And hopefully it'll continue to do that. I can only hope and pray the best will happen. And if the best to come is me not winning the show mm -hmm. and, and going in second or third or whatever it may be, then that's okay with me. You know, um, this isn't the end. We, you can't fall down from this. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, Kelly Clarkson tweeted you saying that uh, she was so happy to see you bringing this real country back. How important has it been to keep that so authentic? I think it's crazy Kelly Clarkson tweeted me. Uh, Major. I actually haven't had my phone, so <laughs> I can't look at anything right now. But um, that's, that's really cool to see her noticing that. Yeah. And you've grown so much, and all the judges said it again tonight. Um, how much of who we saw tonight is you, and how much of that was Blake's mentoring? Um, definitely song choice was Blake had a huge input on, uh, for sure. Um, but all of that was me. Every time I go out there, it's me. Blake teaches... You know, he helps me in song choice, and he helps me obviously how to critique. Um, Miss Trelawney, our vocal coach, also she is a big part on how we perform. But nobody can make you do that. You know, they can only guide you. And of course, Trelawney and Blake are 
huge guidelines for me, and I'm going to listen to them either way. Um, but Just do your homework. That's right. You know, they allowed me to stay true to myself, and I couldn't be more thankful. Yeah, for sure. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. Hope for the best. Thank you.